Thanks for joining me here again at Bad Skadooby Gaming. Put up a like, hit that subscribe button, and here we are. We're going to go see Moog, the Lord of Blood. But before that, I told you I was going to go to another part on the map in the same vicinity and level up a few times before we do that. And here we are. We're at the Palace Approach ledge road which is by far the best place to farm runes and level up so i had been here for a little while and i leveled up four times and i'm just going to run through it once and show you how many ruins i get per round so here we are i have equipped The Sacred Relic Sword, plus 10. This one I fully upgraded. And when you do its special skill, and then here's the area. And if you look, look at all the different enemies there. Are. I mean, look at all the enemies there are. They're not different. They're all the same. Okay. And with this, you basically get it with one swoosh. Now, if you've been playing Elden Ring, you know this place. A lot of people know this place. It's not a secret place, okay? But I just wanted to show you in this video, okay? And then if you look at the bottom corner, I got 3,313,915. Because when you get to the level that I'm at, you need over 3 million ruins to level up. So now we're going to level up, and I'm going to put it into Endurance. And if you look at what that increases to is, is your defense power. Okay, it's also increasing my focus and vitality and my equipment load. It hasn't done much with stamina. Stamina, when you upgrade stamina or endurance for stamina, it's, you get most of it early on than later. And I'm going to confirm. All right. And I'm, that still leaves me with 122,000, but that's okay if I lose that because I have just about everything that I want to upgrade and, and all that good stuff. Now, if you're new to the game, you want to use those runes. Buy stuff with it or stay at this spot and farm until you can level up and then continue your playthrough so you don't lose that all right so now we're going to go where we transport it back to where we transported to and that's right here we'll bypass you know all the running around to get here which which basically the route is right here to get here okay we're going to bypass all that start right here and then we are going to run through here and get to here, Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. And once we're in there, we'll fight the Lord Blood in here. And then right here is that cocoon. Oh, I'm already zoomed in all the way. thought I could zoom in more, but apparently not. Once, we're, once we fight the Lord Blood... We'll be able to activate the cocoon and go to Shadow of the Erd Tree. All right, let's do it. Or shall I say, rock and roll, baby. Here we go. And this is just like, you know, Zombie 101 running through here. Okay, if you want to pick up stuff, go ahead. I just want to get through here, so I'm not worried about the pickups or anything. Again, you can always come back. All right. And then also, if you wanted to finish 
Varys quest and get her gear, you would go back down here and rather than going this way, you go this way and you'll get kicked off your horse and you'll have to fight her. Okay. So that's how you would get her gear. And then she'll show up in here and then you just finish off the quest line from in here. So. But we're not going to do that because I've already done it several times. We're just going to get through here. There's another NPC through here, over here to my left that sells stuff. But we're not going there either. You gotta pick that rune up. That's like worth 80,000 runes. So that's pretty cool. Well, now I got both of them running out of here. All right, ready to get through here, hopefully. <laughs> and we're just gonna go to the next site of grace. Got to get this. This is to fully upgrade your uh, your tier, your spirit tier. And we're almost out of here. And there's the Miri or Vari um, sign. And you can tell that guy to get lost. Get lost, dude. So yeah, I'm sorry, it wasn't the other area where you'll pick up Vari's quest line, it's right here. And here is the uh, Invade White Mask Vari's World. Again, we, we can come back and do that, we're not going to do that right now. We are going to fight Moog, Lord of Blood. Hopefully get him the first time around, he's... He's one of the more difficult bosses. You know, as you progress through the story of Elden Ring, the bosses get more difficult. As I showed you early on, my mimics were killing the bosses, right? My mimic was doing a job. Now, later on in the game, it's not so much. The mimic might do half the job, and then you gotta step in. That'd be cool though, you know, to see see your mimic just take them on off, take all of them on. All right, so here we go. There's no one here to summon. And like I said, if if you have luck like I had summoning various people outside the game, none of them are helpful. So All right, here we go. This is the boss fight. And then behind him, you see the hand sticking up there. I don't know, is he giving us the high five or the finger? I can't tell, but but that's where you want to go, okay? But we can't get there because a boss is going to appear. So here we go. Rock and roll. No, he's not even giving us a high five. We're going to use the Thorn Sorcery, which is a spell that comes with the new Shadow of Erd Tree DLC. If you're wondering where I acquired that, that's where it came from. There he is, baby. There is Nicola. You must, you must abide, abide alone a while. Oh, 
there is a special item that you can get through one of the quest lines that kind of shuts him down. And I'll, if I die through this first try, I'll show you what that is, and I'll show you how the second try. I really don't have time to show you right now what that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, Bob, let's do it, baby. Ooh, he caught me on that one. Ooh. That's it, Mogi. Mogi is shut down, baby. And if it, and then if you notice how many runes I get with him, I'll probably go and level up at that area that I showed you in the beginning of the video. You know, he gave me over a million ruins. That was awesome. All right, and then when you go up here, you get to see the hand, dude. There's the hand, okay? And you touch the withered arm, and we enter the shadow of the Erd Tree. But before you do that, when you save it here, an NPC should show up. And there she is. The cocoon of the Empyrean. Okay, and we could talk to her real quick before we enter the Erd Tree. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikola's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Wouldn't it be cool if you could add dialogue to this? Well, you know, I'd like to touch the withered arm, but I, I need some plastic gloves, you know. I just went through COVID, and um, I, you know, I, I'm not really comfortable touching this guy. You know, I don't know what kind of germs I'm going to get. <laughs> Come now. Sorry. Touch the withered arm. Touch the withered arm. You know what's amazing? Back in the 80s, I used to work out. And it was a health club, health club called Bally's Health Club. Nobody wiped down nothing. Nobody, you know, antibacterial wipes weren't even invented. The only thing you had were was toilet paper to wipe your butt, you know. And now we're... We're, we're basically taking a chemical bath every day and everybody thinks that's okay. I'm sorry I went there. That was just my ever so humble opinion. All right. So here we are. We're going to touch it. I, I really don't need plastic gloves, you know, nor sunglasses or maybe a plastic bubble suit. I don't need any of that. I am free of all that. But we will touch the fingers next time. Subscribe, put up a like, rock and roll, babe. See you next time.